everyone and welcome back to Thrift Witch. This is going to be a short video and it's a bit of an unusual video in that I'm not actually in the usual spot where I take my, or make my recordings rather, I'm actually in my kitchen uh, and that's because I have these items sort of laid out here and it's just easier to do the video here and if you get a bit of a, a view of my kitchen, um, forgive the dishes and the kitty cats wandering around. Um, so. Uh, earlier today, I was able to make a purchase on Facebook Marketplace of a collection of salt and pepper shakers. So these items are going to be um, sold at the Gore Street Antique Market in Perth, and my sister and I actually split on this purchase. So I'm just going to give you an overview of what we got uh, and let you see just this amazing little collection. So first there was this set of Beswick salt and peppers. Um, a set of Native Americans, a really nice set of deer from Japan, a little set of dogs, again lusterware, Japan, some glass, corn cobs, another set of Native American figurines, this really adorable little set of soldiers, again Japan. Um, a dollhouse set of pepper shakers, salt and pepper shakers, so really teeny tiny, literally like smaller than my fingers. Uh, this set of, I believe, um, probably Central American or Mexican figurines. A little bride and groom set. These amazing um, elephants, salt and pepper, pink and blue with their trunks up. A pair of little bluebirds. This pair here, which I believe are actually probably English. Every time I touch these, I'm afraid I'm gonna break them. They're in remarkable condition. The lovely woman that I got these from said that she had had these for many years and she had inherited them as a collection. And so I told her that we would make sure that they went off to good homes. Um, this little boy and girl set, I believe, probably supposed, supposed to represent maybe German or Dutch people. A little set of wine bottles. This I'm salt and I'm pepper. Japan again, lusterware. A little set of colonial man and woman. This really sweet set here of a girl's reading books. Another set with a Dutch theme. A pair of lambs. This pair of bottles, this pair probably set inside of a, of something or on a small tray. Unfortunately, they, it wasn't here with them. This set of apples and the stem and leaves actually unscrew. Um, even though they're ceramic, they're, they're made to unscrew to come out. This set of bottles, salt and peppers that are marked Rockefeller Center, New York. A set of barrels, also marked New York, they're wood these two piggies, this set of pumpkins or peppers, another set of barrels, these um, Blatt's Pilsner beer bottles, a set of wood bells, a really nice little set that is a teapot and a sugar pot, I think, probably Mark Japan if I look, yep, Mark Japan. This set here, I don't think they were marked. No, they're unmarked. A set of cows. I think of all of the ones here, these cows may be the most modern um, of the sets. This set of, I think that's supposed to be the RCA dog listening to his master. Not marked. A set of wooden gavels. This trio set here with... Um, the pig and the, the, these two pigs that are shakers. I think this is supposed to be like an hors d'oeuvre pig like, or a toothpick pig where you would, you would stick the toothpicks inside the pig. Um, so all of these, that's 37 sets of salt and peppers are in remarkably good condition and um, other than, you know, maybe a bit of paint flaking, completely in great shape. I cannot, uh, I cannot believe how awesome a shape those are in. This really nice set of angelfish are in reasonably good condition. There is just a small piece of the tail missing on this angelfish. 
So that's the completed um, sets. Uh, there were also three individual shakers. There's my dishes in the background. Just pretend you can't see them. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Um, a Dutch girl and a luster rare boy and a, another fruit or vegetable, maybe a peach. Then this little tray with a couple more little pigs on it. I, neither of them is a shaker. I feel like maybe there should have been a third pig with them, but I'm not sure. This really nice luster ware, vintage Japan marked um, cat. I think it's a cat. It could be a bear, but I really think it's a cat. Napkin ring. This is a lovely little piece. And then two um, donkeys and carts. So this donkey and then this one here with this young woman and her cart. And I really think that these probably did have shakers in them at one time, just because especially with the shape of this one, unfortunately none of the sets of shakers here fit in this cart. And then also this little brass bell with this almost sort of devilish or pixie looking figure. So an amazing, an amazing purchase for resale. Um, all of the, all of this, um, I'll just, I'll just say was less than two dollars a piece when you piece it out to purchase for all of these great items that we can offer for resale. And we really can find them new homes with people who appreciate and love them. Whether they're going to buy them because they're a salt pepper collector, or they're, you know, they enjoy collecting dogs or bride and groom sets, you know, or perhaps like figural pieces. So yeah, so just a great little purchase for the store and these will be coming up for sale in Perth. And thanks for watching another Thrift Witch video and thanks for your patience with the location of this video and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.